Well, recess is a cherished part of any child's school day, a time to learn and play. However, for some students at Stoneville Elementary, this opportunity doesn't exist. Today, Fox 8's Elijah Skipper spoke with two women determined to provide accessibility for every student. When one person hurts, we all hurt. Dolly Trant and Dana Tucker know the hardships that students in Stoneville Elementary's exceptional needs and functional skills classroom face every day. They say we want to go outside and we can take a few of them out, but there's no way that we can bring 13 kids out here the way that it's kind of set up and with their needs for them to be able to be safe. Some people may take it lightly that they're able to just walk out and get on a swing, but unfortunately we have some students that are not allowed to do that. The current playground is dirt and mulch space, which limits access. This prevents the school's 13 children with varying disabilities from enjoying outdoor playground recess and deprives them of crucial development. Allowing a child to be on a playground, they learn social skills. They learn how to interact with problem solving. They learn how to treat their peers, and that is so important when they advance on in life. But these two women are working to make accessibility for every student more than a dream. Why go small? Let's go big or go home. Let's give them the playground that they deserve. She said, girl, we're not just going to get you a swing. We're going to get you a playground. They started to go fund me, already raising thousands. But with big plans comes a bigger cost. To redo all the playgrounds so that they can advance up as the grade levels go on, it's going to be a $200,000 project. So the large price tag is reflected of the large number of updates needed for the playground. From adding wheelchair accessible swings to improving the ground that kids play on. They also hope to add safety features like improved fencing because the playground's right beside this busy road. As we get more students with more severe needs, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we do have to make accommodations and modifications to our school and our playgrounds to be able to meet the best needs mm -hmm. of all the students. In Stoneville, we are not just a school, we are a family. Elijah Skipper, every child deserves the chance to play together. Fox 8 News. So far, the women have raised $30,000. If you'd like to contribute to this project, you can find a link to their GoFundMe page posted on our website at myfox8.com.